about controlling the hip. If you will get your horse sensitive and responsive to your leg cues, then you will be able to get him to where you can control his hip, which you will find will make everything about body position for this horse way easier for you. If you, if you are trying to get a horse to turn and use his front end, if you get his hip in a position that it's easy for his front end to come around, then it lightens up the front end and he's able to step easier with his front leg. So if I take his hip and I push it in a little bit, okay, I set him up and then when I ask him to come around with his front leg, it's almost effortless. Same thing, other direction. I ask him with the front end. Very easy for him to move the front end because he has his weight here. He's got his center of gravity here and he can just reach with his front end. That will go into everything we do on their back. All of these cues and being able to identify and control different parts of their body at different times will allow you, one, to be mentally in touch with just how much control your horse can have, but will also enlighten you on what your horse is doing during a run or during any kind of maneuvers that you may be trying to get him to do. The more we can get in touch with how this horse operates and how to operate him, the better it will be for us to be able to be a team with him. We have to keep in mind that um, we train these horses to pretty much listen to cues from us to tell them what we want of them. After they get to be seasoned horses, they'll go in there and they know they're supposed to turn a barrel. They know they're supposed to rate and turn it. And the ones that make it that are good horses, they end up doing that and pretty much do most of the job for us. But even those great ones, if we are there as a rider and we're paying attention, we can get just that little bit more that causes us to win out of the run by being in touch with every way that this horse operates. Whenever you, I find when you've got a horse that might want to hit a barrel, that normally when one's trying to hit a barrel, especially if they're trying to shoulder the barrel, their rear end will go away from that turn. So when you're going into the turn and running, if you reach back and press that hip in, then you're able to get that horse, his front end, just like I demonstrated going really slow right there a minute ago. You have his rear end in position, his front end is freed up. And you will never see a horse shouldering a barrel with his front end raised up. He's always dropping it down. If you put this rear end underneath him, you let him get in a position that he can raise his front end up. You can start teaching one to do that by, when you're walking him along here, you've got him sensitive and knowing about moving off your legs. Just reach back with your leg, make him take a step in with his butt. Keep his head pointing forward and think about his front leg moving on whatever line you decide. Like as I go across here, I know the tracks I want this horse's feet to be on. I decide that going across. That gives me direction and helps him have direction. But what I'll do to help him learn to move that hip in is I'll just sink into this outside knee, take the bottom of my leg and push his butt towards the middle for a step or so. And then I turn him loose. As soon as he takes a step, if I'm teaching him, as soon as I can get him to step over, I turn him loose and let him go on and move forward. Step over, turn him loose. Here's a straight on shot so you can see what I do with my legs. Just take that inside leg off and reach back with the outside leg to press his butt. You can do that. The best time to teach them something new like that is at the end of the ride whenever you are pulling him out, he gets in a position that he's relaxed, he knows it's almost over, and you can do that for a minute or two, 
and you start feeling him make some progress, when you feel that he's recognizing and moving his hip when you put your leg pressure on him, that's the time to quit. Do it two or three times in each way that you feel a really good response and then put him up. If you do that every day, three or four days into it, he starts looking for that reward and he will try to respond to your leg cue quickly because he knows as soon as he responds, his job's over for the day.